Howdy folks, this is Jimbo, Four State Trucks, Joplin, Missouri. I'm here to talk to you today a little bit, to give you a little bit of knowledge about our best fit cooling line. That's right, cooling line. You probably didn't know we had a radiator division over here at Four State, but we do. Today I'm going to give you a few high points about why we should be buying something like this, which is a best fit radiator, instead of something like this, which is going to be probably what's in your truck today or your OE line. Okay, OE line is going to be your regular manufactured line. Your regular manufactured line has an expected life of just a few years because they want you to keep on coming back buying their product, of course. Puts money in their pocket, less money in your pocket. You don't want to put your truck in the shop a million times, okay? What we want you to do is come and buy our product so you can keep that truck out of the shop, keeps more revenue in your pocket. So you can do fun things like buy more chrome or take maybe your gal on vacation. How about that? She might like that a little bit. What we got here in this small construction of this right here is what's called a double header design. In your double header design, you're going to have a much stronger point here on your stress points. Okay, stress points is where that radiator starts flexing back and forth. When the radiator starts flexing, the number one spot that that thing's going to go bad is right up here when you've got a plastic aluminum version like this here. Okay. You can see our double header design on this product right over here. See where that's split? Okay, you've got your regular part that comes right up here on top, okay, where your crimp points are, and then you've got a special reinforcement right down here, okay, all the way around this thing. Okay, that makes it 100% stronger. On your OE product, which is right here, it does not have that. Okay, one small crimp point makes the flexing a lot more, which is also going to stop the gasket from sealing properly. Okay, when that thing starts flexing, these crimp points open up, that gasket starts leaking. Number one cause of leaks are flex point fractures. That's exactly what we don't want to happen. So the researchers that have came up with this product for best fit has made it strong enough for this thing to last twice as long. Here's another spot. Right here in this corner, okay, they put some special reinforcements in this corner right here to stiffen that whole bottom and top of that radiator up on the flex points again so you don't have failure there. So now you've got a lot wider area right here for your gasket to go in for the crimp point to be pinched down in there so that thing when it starts flexing is a lot stronger so it doesn't fail at that point. Well they took it even one step further believe it or not. Right here on the corners of these where you bolt to your frame okay that bolts right down to the structure they put sleeves in here there that's where your bolts will work through back and forth so if this thing starts to fail there's failure right here in the sleeve and not on the outside of this plastic tank or the inside of this plastic tank. If you've got failure here, you've got a leak. And that's what we're trying to stop. And what I mean by that is, when you come over here to this product and you look at it, which is where your sleeves are, you've got a lot wider area here for your gasket to seat to. And this area right here has got the aluminum in it, right there. So if this starts wearing, it wears off on the aluminum and not inside or outside right here. That's where your number one failure is gonna be. From what I understand, 80% of all truck failures are gonna be right here in your radiator cooling area. This is what we wanna to try to stop from happening. It's either OE or it's something like Best Fit is put together for you to keep you on the road longer and the harder and stronger it is, the longer you're out there on the road. And it just equates to one thing, more revenue in your pocket, less to the truck. That truck's supposed to be making money for you, not costing you money in the shop.